Hello everyone, welcome to the Linux Minute, your Linux guide and reviews for the rest of us. I am your host, Guy the IT Guy, and today we will be installing Linux live on a USB drive. And the video today is brought to you by TubeBuddy. Go ahead and click on the link below down in the description and go ahead and go over and get your free SEO tools to better further your own YouTube channel. Now, let's get into the video. Engage. First off, we're gonna be plugging the USB drive into the computer. So that way the computer recognizes the USB stick. Now, what I'm going to use to do this with is SD card formatter. If you're not familiar with that, we can actually go and search it on the internet here. And this is the address that you go to to download this. This is from the SD Association. This is a completely legitimate program. And I use this program all the time. Now, you'll want to download either for Windows or Mac, depending on which operating system you're using. If you're using Mac, do not worry, it looks just the same. So you just go down here and you click download for Windows, which I'm not going to download it because I already have it on here, so it'll get a little confused in what to save an extra, but we'll go ahead and click accept anyway and re-download it. And then the other program that we're going to need is called Etcher. And here is the website for Bellina IO Etcher. If Bellina sounds familiar, they actually do make an operating system. But I use Bellina Etcher to flash all my drives with Linux Live USB install. I mean, technically you could use Win32 Writer, but I would rather use this. It's It's got more features to it. And it writes perfect every time. I haven't had an issue with this, whereas I do it with the Windows, the Win32 Imager, sometimes I get issues. And see, so you can download Etcher for Windows, Portable, Mac OS X, which it's just like with SD Formatter, it looks the same on Mac or PC. So just follow along with the guide, and you shouldn't have any problems. And as you can see, you can also download this for Linux in case you have a Linux install going, but it looks the same on Linux as well. I actually have a Patriot operating system running on this laptop as well. So we will download it for Windows 64. Download. So with SD card formatter, we'll go ahead and open that. Yes, I want to allow this to make changes to my device. Thank you, Windows 10. Okay, refresh. It's not seeing my, it's not seeing my jump. I've got to reboot to my Linux operating system. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. This is a very unique version of Linux. Uh, they tried to make it look like Mac OS X as much as possible, but they call it Patriot now. It was Peach OSI, but its new name is Patriot Linux, or Linux Patriot. Okay, now here we are, we're in Gparted, we're beating up, we're beating up, yeah, we're beating up. We're booting up Gparted. It's currently checking out the drives. Okay, here we go, here is our USB drive. Uh, currently I have Respire 5.0 installed on it because it was installed on it for a neighbor. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and since this is a Linux install, Windows could not see it. This will do nicely because in Gparted, what I like about Gparted is you can format it to so many different extensions. We can put it on NTFS, we can make it a Linux swap, we can put it FAT32, FAT16, Extended 4, 3, 2, 
or just completely cleared. But we want this at fat 32. You know what, we will go ahead. Let's just make this, so let's do fat 32. Okay, as soon as you click the fat 32 and G parted, um, you have to click the green check mark because it doesn't do it right away. Yes, we know it's gonna edit the partition. We're fine with that. Let's look it over. An error occurred applying operations. Okay, so it wouldn't let us make it a fat 32. That is weird. Unallocated. I'd rather have it be unallocated. I'm not even sure if it's 11.02 p.m. Do you want to format a disk? Not with you. God, you screwed up the time. You want me to trust you to formatting my USB drive? I don't think so. Okay, we want to format that bad boy. Yes, we realize that, but there's nothing on it, so we don't care. Have a nice day. Please pull through. Goodbye. Now the Linux operating system that we are going to format onto the drive is a version of Linux made by Intel. We just want to download. We just want server. Let's put this in Linux and click save. 22 minutes left. All right, so it's, since it's gonna take so much time to download everything else, I'm just gonna redo the peach because it's just showing, I'm just showing where to, I'm just showing how to flash a USB drive for live Linux install. So let's go ahead and select image. I've already got it set to, well, it was set to Bella. But Lena and I did have it set. So I have it operating systems, Linux, peach file is unzipped. HD setup programs. I don't even know what that was about. Go ahead and click your image of whatever operating system you have downloaded. Click open. That says generic USB device flash disk. So, you know, sometimes I just click on it, like especially if it doesn't have the right device selected. If you got more than one USB drive plugged in, you'll want to click on change to double check and verify. So it just says generic flash disk. Go ahead and click start for the flash. Yes. We want it to allow to do that. Okay, we are now at the 98% flashed. We just got, it says ETA zero seconds. It's finishing and now validating. Well, sweet Jesus. I'll see you in a little bit again. Okay, we are finally done. But let's go ahead and reboot both the Linux aside and take a look at our flashing job. There we go. And now we're in clear Linux OS. And here we go, Wi-Fi not connected, so we just um, turn on the Wi-Fi. Please. This is an interesting version of Linux right here. This is clearly an operating system. Looks like it was originally written for a tablet. I did change the icons a little bit here to the GNOME icon set because they looked a lot better than what they called the paper icon set, but we'll look more into that later because I gotta install a massive hard drive so that way I can install multiple operating systems on it. We are now at the end of the video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Click subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment in the comment section below on what you thought of the video or if you have any questions. And click that notification bell to keep informed of future updates. My name is Guy the IT Guy, and this has been the Linux Minute.